It's called the Cullinan. It costs a quarter of a million pounds. And though it might look like an SUV, according to Rolls, it isn't an SUV. No, this is an all-terrain, high-bodied car. So, an SUV then. And to all those people saying, should Rolls-Royce really build a massive SUV? I say, well, why not? If anyone's entitled to build a massive off-road tank, it's them. It's hardly like their normal cars are small and dainty, is it? Furthermore, 100 years ago, Rolls' entire best car in the world image was based on building off-road vehicles because there were no roads. Just ask Lawrence of Arabia. And the Cullinan is a proper off-roader. It's got four-wheel drive, it'll wade through half a metre of water, it'll realistically go anywhere you'd expect your £250,000 off-roader to go. But let's face it, the Cullinan owner isn't going to do any of that. They're going to drive around on road from this very high driving position, wondering why everyone else looks a bit poor. And out on the road, the Cullinan is every bit as refined and imperious as you'd expect from the world's most expensive SUV. Listen to that. The silence is just glorious. This is the most refined SUV ever made. You really don't even know the engine's switched on. I mean, driving on this road now, there's no suspension noise, no tyre noise. And the ride, it's just extraordinary. It is so supple, it's like the road ahead of you has just been resurfaced with marshmallows. And, like every other luxury SUV out there, the Cullinan doesn't just do comfort, it also does power. And it really is more than powerful enough. It has a twin-turbocharged 6.75-litre V12, 560 horsepower. I'm not sure anyone's going to be brave enough to really hustle one of these, though. It goes really, really quickly. And it does a great job of hiding all of its weight until you get to a corner like that. And you are very aware of how heavy it is. Let's be honest, this isn't an SUV for driving hard. It's an SUV for wafting along in glorious, soothing silence. And for that, the Cullinan is in a class of its own. However, it does have one teeny, tiny problem. It is, to use a technical automotive term, utterly hideous to look at. I mean, it's a little bit New London taxi there. It's a little bit Chinese knockoff. It's all bad. I mean, look at the grill. All that money, that design team, that's the best they can come up with. It just looks like they've taken any old boxy SUV and just slapped a grill on it and a flying lady. But she must be gutted. And I know looks are a subjective thing, but this is just wrong. In fact, I'm going to get inside because it's safer on my eyes. Ah! It really is quite an achievement. Rolls has somehow managed to build a £250,000 car that turns heads for all the wrong reasons. Sorry, sorry. It's not my car. But there's something much worse going on here. The Cullinan should feel like the peak of British engineering, but actually it just feels cynical. It doesn't feel like it was created through passion or love or innovation. It just feels like it was created to make money. Raw greed. Because let's face it, there are too many rich people on this planet for this tasteless car not to exist. I'm an apologist for the motor car. Fast, big, inefficient. I'll defend them because I love cars. I'm passionate about them. But I cannot construct a defence for this car. I'm in 
the flag bearer for British engineering, a Rolls Royce. And I'm ashamed to be in it. So if you want to experience a world-class piece of British engineering that doesn't make you loathe yourself, you don't want one of these. Oh, no. You want one of these. Now, that is British engineering. Watch this. The Brompton Folding Bicycle. What a machine. Frankly, it's a blessed relief. 